Even if we, we, we see somewhere, we're gonna fight 100%. It seems current lightweight champion Habib Nurmagomedov is ready to fight Conor McGregor at any moment. The only problem is he's not open to the idea of fighting in the octagon. On Thursday evening, Habib opened up during an interview on ESPN about his rivalry with McGregor. During the interview, he clarified that he has no interest at this time of granting Conor a rematch so long as he remains the champion. He also stated that their rivalry following their fight at UFC 229 would never be finished. It's never been finished. Never. Ever. And uh, even if we, we, we see somewhere, we're gonna fight 100%. It doesn't matter. Someone go jail or something like this. I don't care about this, nothing. If someone have to go jail, he go jail. Like, just smash people, it's not enough, you know. I talk about just smash only him, it's not enough. We have to smash all his team. You know, this is what I think before the fight. This is what I say to my team, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna, we, tonight we're going to war. This is not about like fight. While Dana White has made it clear in the past that a rematch is absolutely possible, Habib seems to disagree, saying that their beef in the cage is finished. He also stated that in order for Conor to earn a rematch with him, he'd have to win 9 or 10 fights. I don't think this fight can happen. This guy have to come back and make 9, 10 wins to then we're gonna fight. But right now, it's like Conor, I don't think. Like people, maybe, maybe like people who watch this interview, maybe they, they, they think, oh, you think about this, but when UFC ask this guy fight with Connor with millions of dollars, this guy gonna take this fight. Come back and show who are you. During the interview, Habib also went on to say that he prefers to fight real guys like Tony Ferguson, Dustin Poirier and even former welterweight and middleweight champion George St. Pierre. He then proceeded to send a message to UFC president Dana White, telling him not to call him about a McGregor rematch until after UFC 242. Just Dana no need to call me. Why he, why he have to call me about this fight? We talk with Dana sometimes. He's a good guy, but don't talk with me about this crazy fight. I don't want to fight with like nobody. I want to fight with real guys. Dustin Poirier, Tony Ferguson, maybe if one of the greatest athletes ever, George St. Pierre. Mm -hmm. I want to fight with those guys. Although the beginning of the feud between Connor and Habib is hard to pinpoint, things really began to escalate in April of 2018 when Habib slapped Connor's teammate in a hotel room. Connor then retaliated days later by throwing a dolly through a bus that Habib was on. Months later, a fight was announced between them, which only escalated things further. The undefeated Habib Nurmagomedov then proceeded to defeat Conor McGregor in October of last year via submission. But apparently, the fight between them didn't seem to settle the score. Unfortunately, as we all know, things took a turn for the worse when Habib leaped out of the cage immediately after his win at UFC 229, resulting in a massive brawl. Habib was then forced to complete a nine-month suspension for his inclusion in the brawl and is now scheduled to fight at UFC 242 on September 7th against Dustin Poirier. McGregor, who himself went through a six-month suspension for his part in the brawl, hasn't competed since October of 2018. Even with both fighters serving suspensions, the bad blood never seemed to disappear. There must be a rematch. There's been dispute in my last one. I slapped his brother and his cousin around on top of the cage. He tried to talk about the This is not over, so there's dispute. There's got to be a rematch. In fact, just last week, McGregor himself just recently expressed his enthusiasm to return to the cage, saying that he wanted a rematch with Habib. Habib gets by Poirier, that rivalry still seems very personal, it still seems like there's a lot of heat there, and it still seems like you think that you can beat Habib. Jump right in there, no tune-up fight, just go back in there and try to avenge that loss. Yes, dive in, dive in, Ari. You know, I want my world title back, I want that rede redemption, the camp was incorrect. I learned so much on that and look, known, known the commitment I had in that camp and known the performance I put on. 
You know what I mean? He ran away around that. He ran away for that first round, Daryl. He didn't throw. A, he didn't throw a punch. There's no doubt. If that's what's if that's what's there, that's what I'll take. While this matchup seems unlikely to materialise anytime soon, especially with Tony Ferguson waiting for the winner of UFC 242, I suppose anything is possible. For now, Habib will have his hands full as he looks to unify his lightweight belt. So, for the time being, we'll have to wait and see how this fight plays out. Well, that's all we've got time for today, guys. As always, if you guys enjoy this video, then please be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to our channel. Apart from that, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Never have a doubt. Do you like me now? Am I good enough now? Should I get more loud? Do you hear the fucking sound? Oh no, I'm losing my shit again. Having to fit again. Man, I'm forgetting when I used to have some friends. I used to play pretend. We all grow up and then hating my phone and trends. I'm about to blow my head. Nobody knows I'm dead. Here I'm a ghost instead. Think that I'm close. I get straight on my toes and bed. Try to go slow with breath. Without my nose and head. Heart doesn't go the trend. Faster it go.